my, 26M, girlfriend's, 24F, coworker, 24M, kissed her at a work party. How do I move past this? My, 26M, girlfriend, 24F, and I have been together for four years. Last night she had a work event that lead into more drinks afterwards. She told me first thing this morning and said basically her coworker, 24M, kissed her but she lingered a bit before she pulled away. She was very distraught and kept saying she was really sorry and regretted it and she wasn't thinking. I just feel numb and in shock and betrayed. I have no idea what to do now. How do I navigate and move past this? Is this forgivable? Have you asked to see their conversations? Tell her she needs to go to human resources or tell her boss. If she won't then I doubt she moved away more she wanted to warn you in case an employee saw and told you. I stayed in this situation. Six years has gone by and we're breaking up now because he never ever ever stopped cheating. Beginning of the end my friend. Hit the gym. Find a co-worker today and see how close to kissing them you get before they pull away. You know, just to get a sense of how this kind of accident happens. Please don't actually do this. You break up with her. Her co-worker didn't kiss her, she allowed her co-worker to kiss her and she even admits she lingered. So on some level, she enjoyed it. She could have stopped him. She could have pushed him away. She could have pulled away. She certainly didn't have to let it linger on for moments. She's into him. Dump her. How do I, 28 male, deal with my wife's, 28 female, work husband? The other day I saw that my wife's male co-worker who she texts and talks to frequently is saved in her contacts as, work husband. I was taken aback by this and asked her about it and she jute told me it was nothing to worry about and that he's just a close friend of hers at work. At the time I accepted the explanation, but since then I have been think g more about it and feel uncomfortable with it. I'm really not sure how to feel about this situation. I know it seems a bit insecure to have a problem with a nickname, but I can't shake the feeling of unease. How should I deal with this situation and how I feel about it? Is this just a regular thing, or is there something more to be concerned about? My wife was fucking her work husband for several years. Not an amusing term for me. Seems like she's having an emotional affair if she's talking to him a lot outside of work and considers him her work husband. Tell her she risks losing real husband if she continues contact with work husband. Work husband my ass. Squash that shit now. Is there something more to be concerned about? Yes. She's lowering boundaries towards this guy. She jute told me it was nothing to worry about and that he's just a close friend of hers at work. Apart from, he's gay, or, he's married, these are classic famous last words before an affair is revealed. Work husband is code for emotional affair partner. They go on lunch dates? Share everything about their relationships. You should show up at her work and see for yourself. It can be physical. Is he married as well? Ita? Wife, 45 female keeps details from me, 45 male, cause she says I'm annoying. We've been married for 20 years. Have three young kids none are teenagers. Our life is good with many luxuries in our daily life as we both have professional careers. Anyways the reason I'm writing from this throwaway is because of what happened this weekend. So my wife told me that she was going to a casino, couple hours away, for a show with her good friend, 45 female. I've known this friend for years as she was our bridesmaid. Anyways I said sure to her going. So she went, spent the weekend there with a the friend. My wife texted me the night they stayed over, around midnight, to say they were back in the room, sharing a room, and winding down for the night. I asked how was the show and she said it was good. I said I forgot to ask what show they saw and she said it's a dance show. They came home the next day. When I got home I saw that she had parked the car on the lawn. The tires were literally on the grass, double car width driveway so it's wide, and it's in a spot she parks every day, she never parks on the lawn. And then she was sound asleep napping in the middle of day. When she got up I asked, half stupidly, if she was drunk or tired or something coming home cause she parked on the lawn. She said nope. She just parked on the lawn. Anyways later that weekend I was doing laundry and as I was folding the clothes I noticed her clothes from the trip were very revealing. New outfits she's never worn before, certainly not for or around me. Curious, I googled what the show was and it was a Chippendale type show. 
It was literally the show she wanted to watch for her bachelorette but didn't because she couldn't get tickets. So, in my mind, I'm thinking she has tried to relive her bachelorette party but told me it was a dance show. So the next day I asked her about the show. If she had pictures. She sent me some pictures of them at dinner and sitting in the seats of the venue, wearing a full sweater. I mentioned the top I just washed and asked if there were pics of her wearing that too. Then she showed me the pics of her in the revealing top. When I asked why she kept the nature of the show from me or the revealing outfits from me she said it's because she knew I wouldn't approve, like it. I said why lie about the show? She insists she didn't lie cause there is dancing at the show. I said by purposely omitting details to keep it from me that's lying. She disagreed. She then said how I'm so annoying with my questions and disapprovals on things like this. And how I was so mean and condescending when accusing her of parking on the lawn. So I asked what else she's lied about and she rebuts with how she didn't lie. I admit in the past I get frustrated when she leaves me with the kids cause it's a lot of work caring for three young kids. I've never gone on boys trips like that. But now that the kids are older and more self-sufficient, I am okay with her going. And I've told her before and I reminded her. I am far from perfect myself but I said I can't stand the lying by omission. And she continued to insist that she didn't lie and that I'm annoying. So I'm asking. Am I the asshole eh? Too long did not read. Wife didn't tell me details of a weekend girlfriend trip which turned out to be reliving her bachelorette experience. She didn't tell me cause she said I'm annoying. Ita. I wanna know why she parked on the lawn thinking face. The drunk driving and lying about it would be the biggest concern for me. Okay so let's just deal with some facts here. Your wife. 1. Drove drunk. 2. Lied about what she was doing. 3. Lied about what she was wearing at what she was doing. 4. Is attempting to manipulate your perception of reality by being intentionally vague. Not a great look here for your wife and it is not a huge leap here to ask yourself what else your wife got up to that night or other nights. You are not married to an honest person. I would not like this in your shoes either and I wouldn't do this to my husband either. I've never felt the need to lie even if I knew he'd react unfavorably. That's what being a good partner is. Being honest even when you want to avoid a heated discussion that might follow. Info. How would you have felt if she told you prior to the trip what the show was? Would you have been cool with it? I don't necessarily think omission equals cheating. But there's a reason she kept this from you. You need to work out if this is a you issue or a her issue. Question. If you had known what type of show it was, would that have broken an agreement between you? Or would you have been fine with it but disapproved? I'm asking because if she's withholding information to do things that break relationship agreements then that's a completely different issue than if she's withholding to avoid feeling judged. Don't get me wrong. It's not okay to deliberately withhold information from your spouse. That causes trust issues but it could be a flag for bigger issues in the relationship and you want to deal with that. Is it weird if I, 25 male, find the celebrity crushes of my girlfriend? 22F, as unacceptable? Hi so I, 25M, have been dating my girlfriend, 22M, for around 6 months now. We are official but still in the early stages. I like her and she is cool but well I follow her on TikTok. She makes funny videos and all but I checked her reposted videos and I feel weird about it. Well first there's like a lot of celebrity videos like thirsting after the actors. Also some thirsty videos of some athletes in the Olympics she has a lot of those on her shared videos and I just feel weird. To be honest I don't like it at all. I personally don't fall models or celebrities, they don't touch for. That's not stated. I consider myself really monogamous so maybe that's why I don't like it at all. But I suppose I have no idea if I'm being too extreme or close-minded. I can understand you can find other people attractive while in a relationship. But anything more than seeing the attractive person and then minding your own business I tend to find it weird. Especially sharing like thirsty videos. I haven't talked about it, or blame her like she is doing something wrong. Maybe that's the way she is but am I weird for thinking like this? Is my concept of monogamy just unreal? Would love your thoughts. Just tell her how you feel. Edit, I've been in this situation. My boyfriend was a big fan of one of the twice, K-pop girl group, members and he has like tons of her photos saved in his Instagram account. 
I told him that it makes me uncomfortable because this woman is like cute and dainty or whatever which is not so me so I communicated it and let him know what I felt and told him do what he want or what he thinks will make me feel better. And he did. This was like within the first year of our relationship and we are now five years together. Most people, including people in happy, monogamous relationships, sometimes experience attraction to other people. Relatively few people post about it in public or go on about celebrity crushes in front of their partners. How would you feel about saying something like, could you stop posting thirsty videos about people? It's fine that you think they're attractive, I just don't want you going on about it where I can see it. As a woman, I feel the same exact way about this. It honestly restores my hope a bit that there is a man out there who thinks the way you do. I respect it a lot and I can honestly only hope that I'll find a partner with your outlook on this. I would express to her that it makes you uncomfortable and is disrespectful. If she apologizes, unfollows, and takes it off her socials and doesn't do it again then I'd move on from it. But if she picks a fight, it's not worth it. Talking about celebrities that you fancy and sharing videos about them isn't cheating. And it's not the same as watching porn, which is also an okay thing to do in a healthy monogamous relationship once you're both in agreement about it. Different couples draw the line in different places, but sharing celebrity videos isn't a normal place to draw it. What about your girlfriend's celebrity crushes are unacceptable? Do you think making a video saying you think a celebrity is hot is the same thing as watching porn or sliding into someone's DMs to flirt or cheat? I think you're being a little insecure, but that's besides the point. You have a right to conduct your relationships as you see fit, and you have the right to ask your partner to conduct herself as you see fit. However, you don't have the right to expect her to know your expectations without you actually telling her them out loud. If this is a boundary you want to set, set it, with words, in conversation. You also don't have a right to expect her to follow your boundaries. If she decides they're too restrictive, she's allowed to do that. You wouldn't be wrong to set them, but she wouldn't be wrong to find them incompatible with her lifestyle. And if you aren't wrong and she isn't wrong, the only thing the two of you can be is wrong for each other.